How's it going on guys? This is Wicked Android HD and tonight I'm going to be showing you how to flash in PRAM ROM version 3.1. So it's based on OC1 firmware from Samsung, which is not the latest uh, international uh, firmware based on TouchWiz, but uh, I heard that it's kind of a good ROM. Well, at least uh, that's why I, what I read on XDA official thread. I'll put a link in the description down below for that. Um, first of all, all we're gonna do is to boot into recovery as I did here, and I do always recommend making an Android backup before, just in case if something goes wrong, you'll be able to return to your current configuration. After you've done that, go and wipe. Wiping is a must in every of my tutorial, every tutorial of mine. So clean to install your ROM. Okay. Um, so this ROM is running Imperium kernel, so Imperium ROM along with Imperium kernel uh, should make a great team. But we're gonna be fine. We're gonna find out if uh, it's worth having it a, a, a touch with a lollipop ROM to use as a daily driver. Until now, I haven't found anything good, and I don't blame any of uh, the develop any developer, but uh, Samsung is uh, still making some big mistakes in terms of firmware and bloatware. Uh, so, after you've cleaned your device, I'll be flashing this from my uh, USB disk because I'm running out of space on my internal and external SD card so going to we're gonna go and choose zip from USB disk and then we're gonna flash Imperium Lollipop OC1 version 3.1 let's see if it benefits over my Isler yes it does Imperium Lollipop ROM 3.1 developed by Slim80 yes I agree okay I'm gonna go for Romania because I live in Romania Italy no Italy uh, Romania do you disable the fast drums? yes no what the fuck is but <laughs> okay 3G fast. Nope. Nope. I don't want. Nope. Yes, remove them. Galaxy S6 keyboard. I I'd like to have this cheesy touch. Galaxy S6 touch with launcher. Let's, let's test that. Three dot me menu button. And switch, switch an Essex soft key. Yeah, I don't know what what is all about. Wiper for end of it of Essex sounds. Do you want to enable Samsung backup and key support? No. Do you want to disable boot animation? No. Do you want to disable boot sound? Yes. Galaxy S X S six boot animation. Both or select the apps that you want to install. Don't want to install as memo, yes. And my files, of course. Yeah, that's it. So, right now the ROM is flashing, guys. I'm gonna get back to you guys after it finishes flashing, so stay tuned. Installation is finished, guys. Done. We're gonna click next and then reboot our device because we're not gonna be flashing any custom kernel and so on and so forth let's see the beautiful Galaxy S6 boot animation warning guys the first booting process will take more than 20 minutes so make sure you get a coffee or something play with your dog or cat the fuck that's the Samsung Galaxy S6 boot animation. It looks exactly the same as the old one. Yeah. Creepy. So, 
I will get back to you guys after I configure my device. I set up my Google account and yeah, stay tuned. Okay guys, I'm back with Imperium ROM. Just let me dim the brightness. Okay, I hope it looks okay right now. On the first sight, this ROM is uh, very teamable. Um, because uh, as you saw in Aroma Intler you have some options to tick referring to some S6 applications and I like that because a few S6 tweaks and uh, ported apps won't harm anybody like this S6 beautiful uh, widget app if you press this you'll get uh, further information about uh, weather hourly Already and daily. Um, other things you need to other thing you need to know, and I couldn't find out how to change it, is the hardware button. Uh, but uh, I think that was the, an option. That was that option in Aroma, which uh, uh, said something about the hardware buttons. So if you press long press the home button, it will get into Google Now, and if you single press on the option button it will get into the recent tab panel by the way lag is still present and yeah it's kind of a big lag if you long press on option you'll get into S6 default touch with launcher settings um, themes let's see if themes work but uh, I don't think so No, they don't. Uh, S6 launcher, some interesting animations here, along with this strange thing here. The clock, which updates, auto updates. As you may see, really strange thing coming out from Samsung. So, um, yeah. Let's see the lock screen custom lock screen with custom effects ink in water uh, custom Galaxy S6 sounds as you heard nothing uh, special in settings let's see how fast it boots up and uh, if the pin problem is still present I'm gonna set a custom pin um, let's see if it's still present so we're gonna be rebooting device and let's see how fast it reboots so compared to GoldenEye ROM this uh, is a ROM for those users who would like to have a touch of a Galaxy S6 on their Galaxy S4, not a full touch like Albi's ROM, not the stock S4 as on uh, Golden Eyes, Golden Eye ROM, but uh, both of them in a very minimalistic uh, way. On this Imperium kernel version, Imperium ROM version 3.1, running Imperium kernel version 1.4. So let's see. Let me enter the pin. Yep, here the pin is working after reboot. So let's try it again. It will take some time until it boot up. Perfect. So what I see is that uh, we also have an interesting widget here which shows, shows me the weather. Okay. The same, um, I got rid of this sound, really. It's very annoying. Let's say if something's changed in sounds and notifications. Ringtones. I think this wasn't. These. These are from Galaxy S6, I think. Yeah, but either way, I'm gonna be changing this. Skyline looks way better 
that is a skyline of course <laughs> um, camera let me take a picture sorry can't focus there okay picture taken let's let's see it yeah working perfectly well let's make a call fast really fast so this rom is behaving really fast so as i said compared to goldeneye this is a rom that combines really nice that combines the stock Galaxy S4 experience along with some S6 uh, minimalistic touches so he will have briefing with some uh, news you'd like to read while having a cup of coffee or cup of tea yeah smooth uh, smooth interface nothing to be worried about again I don't think this is compatible with uh, with a custom DPI but uh, ain't uh, ain't gonna try that or am I I should try that to see if it is but it's there are the same Samsung apps but and uh, maybe that the Galaxy S6 launcher will be compatible but I don't think so um, this ROM is minimalistic and it looks pretty damn well yeah feels feels very good in hand the interface along with the S6 uh, touches again I can't get used to this button hardware buttons the lag here is incredible but yeah Samsung's fault um, couldn't see the touch manager the task manager but uh, you, you can view your Android system info here so let's see RAM 340 400 megabytes free well yeah kind of nasty eating RAM Apart from that, very good ROM. So, to sum up, this is a very interesting ROM, you should try it. And uh, it doesn't have the pin bug. It still has the lag in the recent app panel, but apart from that, it's a very interesting ROM and I would recommend you to flash it. So, that was it, guys. I hope you like it. If you did, please. Thumbs up and subscribe right down to my channel, right uh, down below. Um, I'll put a link in the description with uh, the XDA thread where you sh should get this ROM and try it by yourself. So, thanks for watching, guys. With Android, is out. Bye bye.